Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone. As the regular season is officially complete, and now we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next after this. What's up guys, Son of Beast here, and right now I have another commentator that will be helping us out for today. This time, it's about to be going down in between the next part of the game. It's game six of the Eastern Conference playoffs in the first round. Right now, Miami Heat is waiting for the winning team to move on to the second round to play against the Sixers or the Bulls. So the next one is going to be even big to have a strong or mighty. It's going to be a Chicago win or go home. Or they will be getting to game seven and face against the Sixers one last time before one of each team will move on to the next round of the semifinals of the Eastern Conference. And I'm telling you this, because all the other players have a lot of uh, higher ranking on momentum ability. They have so many players. And of course, we know that Joel Embiid has made a three-pointer with a shot clock buzz down before the end of a game. And I'm telling you this, it was a, a heck of an amazing game so far. I'm telling you this, it's a lot that working out there today. Let me tell you this. This is what everyone really wants to go for. They want the Sixers and the Bulls to play them against each other, but we're going to save it for another season, and if there's a chance, to take it from the ever lane. Well, my time could be a little bit, right? Well, you might never know. It might be coming along there with a break, or something else like that. There might be something else that you never need to know. And now, for adding the commentators on the board, we have a Silver Spoon. Welcome back to the game, and this is the next one that we have is Game 6. Oh, so it looks like we have a sudden death going on in Game 6. So, the so Sixers are in the lead, 3, and Chicago Bulls has 2? That's correct, because if there's a, because James Harden and their team has scored and won in Game 5, now it's the Bulls' chance to tie it or lose it again. So, it's their time to make a statement, go for each jerseys, for each away and home jerseys. Well, let's see how well they do, because this is the next one that we are going for in our one. Well, let's get the game on the road. I love to see that play. And also, the Sixers and Bulls one last time. If the Bulls win, and we're going to game seven. If the Sixers win, they're going to go against the Miami Heat in the second round. Well, let's enjoy this game and see who's going to move on. And one of you could be the next New Balance player of the game at the end of a uh, third quarter to almost the end of a fourth quarter. So, let the game start now and send you down to United Center for the next game. Illuminating the light sky of Chicago. This is a skyline that we are all going for. And tonight is game six. And welcome to two. And we are back here at United Center for the third time. In this game, me, Smeepone, and Silver Spoon, or the commentator today, and a sideline, Ali LaForce, is Ali LaForce. So this is a lot of game matchups, but let's have Ali take first. Brian, well, Joel Embiid, no stranger to trash talking. He said, I don't start it, I just finish it. I'm a competitor. I don't love disrespecting people, but I love making them look silly on the basketball court. Dominating, winning, it's just fun to me. It's nothing personal, guys. He is it's fun, fun to watch, watch here. Thank you, Alex. Stuff there. And right now, the starting lineups has occurred here as the Sixers and the Bulls have it all matched up in between. Nikola Vucevic and Joel Embiid are the key matchups. And for Joel Embiid, what is your guys? What do you guys think of how well he has done? He loves up uh, showing the fans. He likes to see how well they do, and I think there might be a good chance for them. So, I guess there might be a good solution for them to keep an eye on. Yes, I totally agree with uh, Silver Spoon, because Joel and B doesn't want to disrespect to each other, and I think he wants to, like, bring things on. <laughs> I'm definitely nothing to say about that one, but it's all, yeah, yeah, Rodenet partner, 
I think they're all ready for it. The Sixers wins the tip-off here, and game six starts now. All fueled up and ready to go. Harris over to Vucevic. Over to Rosen, I'm sorry. Right now the first rebound is on Vucevic. Here's Dustin, who only scored a couple of his game, but now this time it's oh, D. Rosen! Slams the dunk and a great start for the first quarter. Wow. I don't know what to say about the Rosen, but this is all he had made some changes out there. Here I not, here I come. Tobias Harris delivers a three, and now they have the lead up by one. For this Chicago this season, Tobias Harris has got 15 points in point five, and he averages four in the real playoffs. This moment of time could be the only man himself. Rebounded up by here by Fiebel, a great defensive defense by Joel Embiid. Now Matisse Fiebel will deliver the pressure. He delivers it to Harris. Open over to Embiid. Embiid fighting the man over to Rosen. What a great D here by the Rosen. He Rosen is just a, just a fan favorite out there. They want some franchise players. He rolls in, makes a good drive out there. Now he's just putting things on the board. Here's Harden, only delivering the three-pointers, and sometimes the two-pointers here since they played for the last game, but he was fouled out back in game three of the NBA playoffs against the Raptors in Toronto. Yeah, because all they noticed, because what happened is he's putting a lot too much pressure out there, and that can be a very hard thing, what they are going for. So I have personally put the bet that Tobias Harris would have been helping out and trying to tell him not to file. And of course that Cork Moss hasn't all covered yet with Danny Green. He has to he has to stop making technical fouls. Well he's a little angry at a disappointment here in game three because what happened is he was trying to tell the ref and he was not he was, he was trying to complain what he has done. Sometimes or whatever, that Danny Green would have to tell him to make them solid settle it down. Yeah, I always know that Danny Green wasn't able to like uh, like help the teammate out. But I know he was trying to get there right to his attention. But for the foul call, I don't even know if they would have bet on that one, so this would have been the right thing to do. Here's the Rosen, covered by Harris. He just delivers to the Levine. Levine inside! And off the rim, Dawson for three, delivers the punch, they tied it up by seven. What a shot this made here for Dawson and now there's only two minutes to go. Sir Ty scores in between the Bulls and the Sixers, here's Fievel outside, he has only scored two points in this game. Now he delivers it off to Harris. Now to help him pick. In the attack, the painter goes, and it's Tobias Harris with another bucket. After scoring three points, now he has two. He rows in, switches it over to Levine. He goes inside, layup drive, good! Timeout called by Philadelphia with a minute and 28 to go. Now they have some two tie changes here in game six. This is definitely one of the, uh, one of the best things that nobody has ever seen here before, but that was just a lot of like, uh, pressure to make the ability to go back from here. And coming up for the second round will be the next matchup to face up here again. So as all the teams have already been lost here in the first round, but only some teams move on to the second round. We have the Phoenix Suns playing against the other team, as he will now be facing against the Utah Jazz. And then the two versus three matchups. It's Grizzlies versus the Warriors. Yeah, a big showdown here in the Western Conference. It's definitely going to be the Grizzlies. But the mute again since the first round was already been like pushed up and dominant out of the way. And after the wild uh, wild card face up in the play in tournaments, this could definitely be the oldest opinion that has ever been played here. The last time they already went to the first round before they regained control for next season. New group substitution here for Philadelphia and the Chicago as Danny Green is checked in for Tyrese Maxey. Cork Moss comes in for Matisse Feibel and it's Nyang coming in for, for Tobias Harris. All five players are checked out and all five players are checked in as they keep Caruso in point guard. 
Kurt Moss delivers a no. And you look at the pressure where the uh, where Chicago is playing, they have some uh, a tier uh, higher average out there. They might have another one to go for. Thompson up. He makes a shot, and they have the lead up by two. What a play here for Tristan Thompson. Only knows his better performance out there. Can be much more happening. Millsap. The layup drive is good as Millsap gets his first bucket. James Harden. James Harden delivering the assist. Now the veteran of the University of North Carolina, Kobe White, delivers off to Caruso. In the paint. Nice feed here by James Harden. Now he delivers a very rebound. Millsap delivers over to Harden. Now he's up in the team to make some pressure here. Finds Millsap. Bounce passes to Cork Boss. Pocket six. They got to get some shots here. They got to go for it. Cork Boss. What a delivering move out there. And they have the first lead for. Quirk Boss to start things off for a new changeup. Yeah, Quirk Boss, how well he does here yeah, playing for his first time. Also, he, he winds up with this team to give him another try. I like that move better. Oh, Millsap! What a start here for the end of the first quarter from the Sixers. And it's a two point lead for 13 and 11. We'll be right back after this message. Coming in right now is the second quarter, as the Sixers have made a lead on chain by two. And taking a look at the different comparisons in between this season and last season, the most of all the take, they already made the second round here, and they already have faced a loss against the Atlanta Hawks because those teams are not giving up this yet. Well, I know that because what happens here, it looks like the defensemen are not going to have a great over average here. It's going to be a very hard to make it in between the attacks. And it looks like Korkmaz just lost the ball and no foul is called by Philadelphia. 3 on one opportunity. Oh, and it looks like that back-to-back -back is no foul called on Chicago. Alley-oop. What a D. Faces back in there. And it's another one to pick up Green. And they're tied up by 13. The alley oops unsuccessful was not picking up the pressure really well because James Harden has it. But now, they have it recovered here. They wanted to start things off again. Green, pocket down to six. Harden, Niang for three Good, you bet. Three-pointer counts for Georgia. And it's Harden with the assist. Yang's got his first three bucket here for game number six. It's now a three-point lead for Philadelphia. And Melisap takes a steal. Niang. Oh, and comes the fast break. They won't pick up here. Millsap delivers off to Niang. Niang trying to move an attack around with a fade-off shot. That goes off target. Green, on back the air for transition. Caruso on outside. White outside. He delivers it back to Caruso. Pocket down to six for Chicago. They need to get some shots here. With the two. Rebound by Thompson. He puts it back in there. It's a one-point game for Philadelphia. Timeout called by Philadelphia Sixers. Only 3 of 3 left. I can't believe it. This is like Tristan Thompson is putting out there. I was expecting there was someone going out there with a better single time. Man, I've never seen that one coming. And you're telling me, because of like Tristan Thompson has already played here back with the Boston Celtics for the last couple seasons before he gets transferred off with the number T. And it looks like Daniel Theis has never been playing with the Bulls so far. After the season with uh, Nikola Vucevic, he wants to bring things up, and the Bulls needed to bring a franchise player to have show who's the best and show who has it a lot more skills. And now you see Nikola Vucevic here 
since the flashback here from the Orlando Magic with Aaron Gordon. A new group substitution change as Feibel is checked back in for Corkpaz. Maxi comes in for Danny Green. James Harden is subbed out and it's Maxi moving to point guard as Green is moves over to shooting guard. And Joel Embiid is checked in for Paul Millsap. New change up here. As all five players checked out for Chicago, and all five players are checked in for the starting lineups. Jones Jr. is in, in here, ready to take his position. Maxi fades off in the paint before the three second offensive call was going to be on, on Maxi. Not for long, they are trying to avoid painting it outside the edge. Levine can't get it to go. And now it's Green with the ball. Now it moves back to Maxi. He only has one rebound, one assist, and two points in the game. Embiid rolls back to Green. In the cutoff! Nice D by Vucevic. And it's Dazimu with the ball. We approach down to two minutes. And Dazimu gets a two-pointer. 18-17, Philadelphia lead by one. Maxi back to MD. Moves back over to Fiebel. Now they need a new change up here for offense. They always do because they need to make a right call out there. And now they need to go for another time attack to face it off. MB with nothing to go. And it's rebounded by Jones Jr. Yeah, it looks like the defensemen are pulling it back. The Bulls are looking for some forceful effort out there. They need some help. Fiebel with another rebound, another miss by Chicago. Green, back to Fiebel. Moves over to Embiid. Embiid rolls back to Fiebel. Moving over to Green. No cut-in changes yet. Now he delivers off the slot for Claris and count that bucket in and one. It is DeMar DeRozan with a foul. And there's, they have Another team foul for Chicago. Now for a shooting for one will be Tobias Harris as he scores in. Only stopping the clock at one or two left to play. They always do. Number of higher status here for Tobias Harris. Last season was the best, but this season he might be regaining in control if, uh, with another help here. And the free throw sends it away. It's eight points for Harris. They are up by four. And you're telling me that the uh, that, uh, the Chicago Bulls have got some great players on the higher average out there. They might have some other ones to be taking them instead. Now Batiste Feibel delivers it off to Harris. Now he's helping Embiid with the screen. Inside, Embiid, what a play! Tobias Harris with the assist. And they are up by six. He is going nuts everywhere. He is going for another one. Great D by Embiid. And no foul picked up on Embiid. What a delivering show at this moment. He has a second rebound. They always do. Because most of the time, they really can't be showing him off too slow. Maxi with a step back. Another off-target angle for Philadelphia. Dazimu looking for a chance to beat the buzz beater. The Rosen gets it in. And that will end the first half of the game. It's 23 to 19. What a history to make it. This is going to be a tough one. Oh man, the Bulls are way so much fun out there. They might be showing them off. And a chance now to set to court side by Allie. Allie? Fireworks early. What's going to be critical to keeping it rolling? Uh, just keep moving the ball. Uh, we go get stops. And uh, I think the kids just moving the ball. Playing together. We've been doing that. And uh, we got some hot guys. And we got to keep moving them. Ball movement is key. Guys. All right, Ali, thank you so much. We'll be right back with you back at United Center, and we will be sticking around to start the third quarter. Time for the first half of the recap, Bulls and Sixers.
first half statistics are on the board. That's all for now. Now it's time to send you back to Chicago to start the third quarter. And we're tuning in to the another playoff edition of the NBA. We are about to start things off with the third quarter. And taking a look at Tobias Harris' status, his key offer has been turning, well, a bigger timing effort. Tobias Harris, eight points, one rebound, and two assists. Now, he knows his teammate here for Joel Embiid and the other guys. What is the process of how the how Tobias has gotten into and playing with his, uh, with his encouragement for the team? Their encouragement for team is like no offer of ability to make them, make them pay. But they really got some great offers out there. They're doing a lot that hard to make them to make them uh, go off with the uh, with the attack off run. And sometimes they have some. Uh, they have, they're looking for him to play with the Sixers. Here back in 2019 season, they already got some a lot of higher average out there with Jimmy Butler, of course. And I know about him because Tobias Harris really has dominated him off. They've got a great number out there. Wow, excellent two here for Tobias Harris. That's Joel Embiid with another assist. He has got his first assist here in the game. He's really cooking them off. What a play. Levine on Feibel. The back to Vucevic. I'm blocked the pass, almost deflected away, and it's Feibel with the steal. Here's the two-on-one attack coming in. Feibel! Oh my goodness, it's Harris! What a stunnable moment out there. The Chicago Bulls would have seen that coming. Wow, I've never seen that play. Tobias Harris? Woo! Man, man, get that thing out of the way. He wants to like, he wants to show his encouragement not playing with the Clippers. But he all had it all. last touch here by, by, by Harris is delivered off. And a terrific mobile one block by Mills, Paul Millsap. The first block of the game of the end of the first quarter. He is on a star right now. After playing with the, the Denver Nuggets, he would like to uh, bring things on to help them out with the team. And also, uh, he really doesn't want to play with the Nets out there, so it's all with his bad, uh, bad lucky out there for his run. I guess right now, his team didn't go so well here for Brooklyn. So he wants to give things off to Millsap for the Sixers. Wow, Millsap got two blocks in a row. And our team is here. Yeah, okay, Millsap, I see you. What a terrific play for Paul Millsap. Oh man, two blocks in a row. <laughs> They're trying to trying to enforce men to go down with the shot clock. 4.1 for the Bulls. So with the shot clock, they need to get there. And with the shot, doesn't go in. Tobias Harris reaches up for his second rebound of the game. Now he goes right to Harden. Harden back to Harris. Just about 3.15 left to play in the third quarter. It's now 27 to the 21. Fade off. Niang. From the elbow. And a lower two point connects for Niang. It's now seven points for Niang. And it's now uh, an eight point lead for, for Philadelphia. They know that. George Niang, after playing with the Utah Jazz at this point, he gets a little bit of pressure of the angle out there, and he really wanted to face him off. And Caruso sets a floater up. They're down by six. They're cutting it down, everybody. They're really looking for another win to pay off the price out there. Harden back to Millsap. Millsap back to Harden. He moves back to Millsap. Move to the A. Shot clock to five. Korkmaz in the corner over Caruso. Uh, another miss by Philadelphia. They really too quick. There's too hard to pressure out there. It's going to be tough on them. And the number two for DeRozan delivers an A. It's a four point trail for the Chicago Bulls. Now we left to approach two minutes left here in the third quarter. Millsap outside. Bounce fast, delivered by Korkmaz. Fade, right to Harden. Up with the two. In and out. 
White with the with a number of chance of receiving the rebound, and he has got his first rebound. He knows himself. The calling of Kobe White really got a great first rebounding of the game, and for ultimate of the decade, he had already played in before. First foul on Philadelphia goes on Millsap, and now there's a chance to take the make the two point trail here for Chicago. And for Alex Caruso, he is already against gaining up his status ability. It is really true because that was a lot of a key to succeed here because what he has done so far was a facing challenging to uh, keep an eyes on if he wants to keep that one in the range. First free throw makes one in. The bank shot really has gotten a good eyes to keep an eye on. For uh, Caruso, they got a great one. Now it's Niang moving over to us uh, to point forward as Green is checked in. Four players checked out and four players are checked in. And second corner for Caruso delivers it up. Harden with the ball. A minute and a half to play in the third quarter. Goes right over to Millsap. Back to Harden. And he decides to take a timeout here with a minute and 20 to go. And it's now a two-point trail for Chicago and a two-point lead for Philadelphia. They're going to switch things up here on offense from defense when we come back. This place turning out heat pressure. It can be a tough range for an ability to make a momentum. New group substitution made a change here. As right now, the Sixers have already made some new changes out there. Millsap is checked out, and Joel Embiid is checked back in. Now Niang covers it over. Just about five to play. Embiid draws a foul, and it's on Williams with his first personal second team foul. On team first team foul in Chicago. Well, that play was going to be a very tough block, and I thought that blocking denying with the shot for Williams was turning out and out of the angle. Now MB will have to go to the line to shoot two free throws for Philadelphia. We're adding a tons of free throws here in between the games of Eastern and Western Conference. They have it all statted out. They do. They got some numbers out there. They might be someone be taking the most free throws out there, and it might be a little bit off the angle. And now changing out will be Vucevic as he's checked in for Thompson. And sticking up here for the next game in a, in a second round for the Eastern Conference, it will be the Celtics facing against, you know, the Milwaukee Bucks. And now we're still waiting on here as, as Miami will be playing here first. To face against the uh, winning team in between the Sixers and the Bulls. And then a second game will be happening here with the with the Celtics and the Bucks. Here for the second game. Oh no! Vucevic! He lost the ball and he just went off the hook. Well, he was too late anyway because he was not able to take his time out there. That's a tough ability to make him play for. And sometimes when you can't have the defenders, well, that's a tough look. Harden makes a drive, and it's now another two points, and he's got his first bucket. Harden with an easy look here for the drive. The, uh, the beard free. Maybe this might be the only tough one to get that one a shot. And all the fans chanting, let's go Bulls champ. Two-pointer delivers. It's no good. Rebounded again by MB, and he's got number four to take him off. Green. Harden for delivering a three. Good to make it through. Harden gets his first three-pointer. It's now 36-27. Well, he's all open out there. Nobody's got it out there. And that was going to be a very tight battle in between the fourth and fifth seed. But glad to have those teams. Looks like the fourth seed could be beating the fifth team. Yang through to do, and it's no good. Third quarter is closed, and now we all face out with the final quarter to play here for the sixth game of the playoffs of the first round. This could be a chance for the Sixers to go back to the second round to face against the number team, the top team. We'll be right back after this. And a moment now to, re to reveal the State Farm Assist of the Game. 
I'm glad that there is, uh, there's definitely a, a bunch of plays out there. There could be a lot of challenging to make the heat. And with delivering it off to Tobias Harris, well, this happens to him first off. And with them playing before, they've got some uh, higher average for the players to be at. It's great to hear that, uh, that the players are uh, uh, up in hydration, ready for ready to take the court. And I think they might be ready for the second round to face them off. But it's not going to be that easy if they're going to be playing against the other team. And we all start the fourth quarter. We are all filled up and ready to go for the sixth game of the fourth quarter. It's MB in the center. And it's Tyrese Maxey in the, in the point guard. Along over is Matisse Fibo on the small forward. And then Danny and then George Yang here in the shooting guard, along with Danny Green in the small forward. Gosmu covered up by Maxey. Delivers back to Gosmu. Screen on Vucevic. He goes up, deflected away as this one goes up by Maxi with his second rebound. They don't have any scoring points in the last 2 to 20 of this scoring drought, but there could be a big of a huge devastation that could be need to like scoot it up a bit. And be working back in there, back to Maxi. Moves over to Green. Green with the shot. Two point can't hit to go. It's Dazima with the rebound. Goes off the rim. Vucevic. Williams. What a pass by Vucevic. And Williams gets his first bucket in the fourth game. He is quiet out there. What a start. How, how, play, how lucky would you be here if Dazima would have got, gotten some assists here? Well, you might have to go with that one. Green. And a two. Yeah, he watches. And Green makes a two pointer. What a shot here. He's got his first buck of the night. He's all delivering out there. Moment and more importantly, a Danny Green may have a higher average to go for an take. And the Bulls decide to call time here with 322 left. I'm pretty sure that the but his Eastern Conference is gonna start things off here. Just uh just a bit off the uh, angle with the hook. And I think there might be another one to get right by it. And because of what happens here, well. This can be a lot of, of tricky, and it can be a little bit uh, changing with the with the lap off maker. And now they decide to do the two to three zones to cover in the wing and from inside the center. Yeah, they like to give us a good things off because whatever happens already, because um, those players inside here on on the offense, they may have some average here on the board. May need to show things off to try to go with the quick move on the board. A new change of here, so Chicago has already been pulled up, along with the Sixers. All three players checked out, and Massey moves back to the point guard, to shooting guard. James Harden delivering up. Lavine, open floater. It's now a nine-point trail for Chicago. They are always stacking a book ability. They always do. And be back outside. Just about three minutes to play here. MB goes right to Harris. Philadelphia moving a good momentum out there. Oh, great bounce pass. What a scoop. And Harden delivers the assist. Matisse Feibel really got a great drive out there. Now he delivers it off. A second bucket. Three-pointer can't hit the flow for Zach Levine. Maxi hitting back the other way. He goes right to MB. Back to Harden. Harding, over to Feibel. Number two, and it's off target as Levusevich takes his rebound. He knows his ability, he knows who he can go for. He now needs to find himself to make an open call for whatever changeup. And the offensive three second calls goes on DeMar DeRozan. And this one goes with a turnover on Chicago. Fans are not looking so good right now. They are starting to go, uh, go with the guest satisfaction. They got really got a long way to go. MB right over to Maxi. Bounce pass to MB. MB going in. He's fouled and won for MB. What a save and point! And just like that in Game Three, he always shouts that time. He knows this celebration is like a hype. They want the Sixers to go right to the second round and destroy the other team. Well, they know about two years ago for against the Raptors, they now 
We really wanted to face things off here for this year for revenge. And Embiid is at the free throw line shooting one. Vucevic has his first foul here, and our team foul goes up on Chicago. And what the play this turns out for Joel Embiid. He is delivering it. The process of the day can be the only time to shine. Huh. I believe that there might be someone out there, too. Dazumu on Maxi. Delivers off to Vucevic for the scoop. Takes the nine by Embiid. And, and Matisse Feibel really has got a lot of pressure out there. He was telling them that that was a great defense here. Let's make him count. Let's make them play. Embiid's on a streak. DeRozan back to the boss move for three. Got it. Another three pointer for Chicago. And they are just getting in close by. Down by nine. Back it over is Maxi. Maxi back to Embiid. Inside. What a finish! It's Embiid with the dunk. And this goes up by Maxi. 11 points for Embiid. Wow. I can't believe that this was all happened here before. And the Rosen's team is like slowing things down. Breach and foul is called on Terrace. As he will stop the play here. 123 left to go. Harris has got his first personal foul and only another first team foul on Philadelphia. Not the point chance for Dazumu and they are down by 10. What a relief. Maxi right to Embiid. Embiid rolls back to Harden. Harden up. Two point delivers. Timeout call by Chicago and they're up by 12. They know their stuff. Easy in, easy out. He's like uh, putting a stew things. He start looking for some cooking here. Or for food. And for Sixers, they wanted to gain some calories out there. Now they are down to a minute and seven to go out there. This can be a chance here that they might be showing things off here for the Sixers. And they are going to face against the Miami Heat in a second round of the game of 2K Sports. They have it all come down here, just a just a saving point of this average out there. They are they are running out things and they are just a killer. They've already got a lot of different strengths out of a number. They have all them uh, stacked out. They do honestly. With all that opinion out there, three steals for Sixers, three blocks for Sixers, and four turnovers on Chicago. This is definitely not good for them. And they're going to have to start things up here for next season to face it on with a bigger attack. Now we present the New Balance player of the game as this player goes to Joel, the process of MB. He is on a crushing tonight here for game six. Look at his stats. All he knows is he would like to dish things off and all of a sudden here, he got a lot of average out there. A nice play and drive? Man, that is a crazy game. I always think about Embiid. His process can turn him up the heat. Pressure in there, might be off the hook. Levine outside, goes up. Another miss by Chicago. Harden with the ball, and they're now down to the last minute left to play. Back to Harden. Now he gets it off to Tobias Harris. On Caruso, helps Embiid with the screen. There's off to Fiebel, over to Rosen. No blocky gain here for Chicago, and they don't want to do this anyway. And he goes out of bounds, wow. Another turnover on Chicago, that's four in a row, five in a row. And DeAndre Jordan is checked in, as Tobias Harris and Fiebel are checked out. They have a lot of a moment of pain to, to bring things in there. They have some, a lot of strength. Now he goes to DeAndre Jordan, he says, no, go for it! Wow, DeAndre Jordan, did you see that? That play was a huge phenomenon. And B looking for DeAndre Jordan, and says, take, go shoot for it, Joe, DeAndre. He's like a old pressure, he knows him so far. Two-pointer delivers, and it's only Jones Jr. And it's all closes out for Chicago to end the game. 
Well, it's nice to see that Chicago has made it to the playoffs this time since 1999. But now, um, this is it, and always I put it up all the way to the NBA Finals. This all ends here, game, folks. With a phase out, Philadelphia is moving on to the second round. 51 to 39 is your final score. They're going on to take against the. They're going to the face against the number one seed against the Miami Heat. They do always. Now they're looking for some revenge here tonight. If they wanted to go for some opposite plays on this drive. There might be something going on that might be ready for action. And I will close things off here at United Center. First round of NBA playoffs is complete. We will come back after the Stanley Cup playoffs and then start the second round of the NBA playoffs. Now, since we're closing things off, let's take a number three for the three star players of the game. Starting off with you, Silver Spoon. You take it first. Thank you so much right now. I always appreciated that this was a, a fantastic game. Well, I guess that the Chicago has already closed things off, yeah? Since 2016? I guess they made it all the way. I don't know what to say about them, but that's, uh, that's quite an honest opinion. I have never seen that one going on. Let's go ahead and take number three with uh, Ayo Dasamu. 11 points, 2 rebounds, and 1 assist. He only gives up a 1 turnover that he always plays here on the court. And 13 minutes was his time to play here with the team. Now let's have number two, Mifo. Number two, always know that Joel Embiid is like a hard-on trainer. 11 points, four rebounds, four assists, and he has gotten a block. That was a close call in between the range by Fibel or Embiid, but it was going to be Embiid. So that was his moment to make the block out of it. And he only performed one dunk at a time. And that was all he finished here for the fourth quarter. What a stoppable one. And now for number one, as I will take from here, this all goes to the best player and the help recruiter, Tobias Harris. 12 points, 2 rebounds, and 2 assists. He only gives up 1 foul, and 16 performance effort has gone great and crazy lane. One dunk has performed, and he now knows he will help his teammate with the, with the next round to begin. After he loses up here for the second round here against the Atlanta Hawks, they're just going to try to figure things up here and just go for another planned out attack. I think they're ready for everything. So that will end here for the first round of the NBA playoffs of Eastern and Western Conference. This all ends for the first round of the first teams to be eliminated and some first team and a franchise teams to be in for the second round to face against the other teams. So, it says that we are all finished here for the first round, and we will stick around here for the second round once we finish the Stanley Cup playoffs first round of each game, with the quarterfinals in between. And for being said, thank you all for watching, and this has been a presentation of the NBA playoffs of NBA 2K22. With that being said, peace out everyone, for as well as the NBA playoff of 2K22 dial. Me, me phone, and Silver Spoon are gone. We like to say, have a wonderful evening here in Chicago, the skyline, and for brotherly love of Philadelphia.